Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be solving a cubic equation. This is not an ordinary cubic because we are given that x1 is equal to x2 plus x3. In this case, x1, x2 and x3 represents the roots of this cubic equation. Alright, so this problem is actually lots of fun because we're going to be using Vieta's formulas. I do have a separate video on Vieta's formulas and a couple other videos which I'm going to link down in the descriptions. Or maybe comment section. Who knows? So we have the following relationship and how are we going to use it? Obviously, speaking of Vieta's formulas, there is three of them that applies to a cubic equation. Let's go ahead and write them down and then I'm going to walk you through the steps. So Vieta's formulas basically give us the relationships between the roots of an equation, a polynomial equation, and its coefficients. In this case, again, for simplicity's sake, I just took a equals 1. Otherwise, it would just be like negative b over a, but we're going to be writing it as negative b. Okay, so the first relationship that we get from Vieta's formulas is x1 plus x2 plus x3, which is the sum of the roots, and it's given as negative b over a, but since a is equal to 1, it's just going to be negative b in this case. Okay, the second relationship we can talk about is the sum of two-way products x1, x2, x1, x3, and x2, x3, and that is equal to c over a, which is equal to c. And finally, the product x1, x2, x3 is equal to negative d over a, but in this case, it will be negative d. Okay, so these are the Vieta's formulas, and they are awesome. So, we have a relationship, this one, that's given to us, which works with this equation. So if they didn't give us this requirement, obviously, we would have to solve a general cubic, which could be done by Cardano's method. But in this case, we're not going to use it. We're going to be using Vieta's formulas. Okay? So let's see how this goes. Since we know that x1 is equal to x2 plus x3, and we have this first relationship, let's go ahead and put those together. How do we do that? We have x1 plus x2 plus x3 is equal to negative b. Now what I can do is... I can substitute, instead of x2 plus x3, I can just write x1. And this gives me 2x1 is equal to negative b. And if you divide both sides by 2, you get x1 is equal to negative b over 2. So we got one of the solutions in terms of the coefficients, which is cool. Now, at this point, we can just go ahead and divide both sides of this cubic by a linear factor such that x1 is one of the roots and get the other one and solve it. But... That's just one way to do it. I'm going to do it another way, which is, again, using Vieta's formulas. Okay, great. So, now what do we have? We have the sum. We use the sum. So, we got x1 from here. Let's go ahead and look at something else. What about the product? The product gave us x1, x2, x3, and that is supposed to equal negative d, right? Okay, great. Now, what do we know? We know one of the roots is x1, so we can just go ahead and substitute that. If we do, we get negative b over 2 times x2, x3 is equal to negative d. Now, if you divide both sides by negative b over 2, then you're going to get x2, x3 from here. And that is going to equal 2d over b. Okay, I can't make the joke or the birthday song to you, but I'll do something else. You'll see in a little bit. Okay, so this is my x2, x3. Now, what is that supposed to mean? I have x1. I have x2 times x3. Do I have x2 plus x3? That would be nice. And we do. Why? Because remember, the given condition was x1 equals x2 plus x3. So since we already found x1, which means we also found x2 plus x3. Okay, so since x1 is equal to this, that implies x2 plus x3 is also equal to negative b over 2. Great. Now, what is that supposed to mean? These two relationships tell you what? We're dealing with a quadratic equation, right? Okay. And we know the relationship between the roots, the sum of the roots and the product. So that means that from here, so it's a Vieta again, but this time we're going to reverse the process. We have these relationships and we can write the roots, right? We can write the equation actually, not the roots, but if we know the roots, we can write the equation. How do you do that? Well, it goes like this. Let's just use u as a variable so that we can just do 2u, right? u squared 
minus the sum of the roots are going to go here times u and the product is going to go here. As you know, as you know, the product is c over a in a quadratic and in a, in a quadratic, the sum is going to be negative b over a. That's why I was able to write negative times x2 plus x3 here. Okay, so this is the equation whose roots are x2 and x3. Oops, I was going to write what it is and then replace it. Maybe let's go ahead and do that. So this is supposed to be x2, x3. Now let's go ahead and replace x2 plus x3 with negative b over 2. So that's going to give me a plus b over 2u, right? Plus x2, x3 is going to be 2d over b and the whole thing is equal to 0. Okay, so if you solve this equation, the roots are going to be x2 and x3. We're going to find them in terms of b and d because that's our goal to find all the solutions of the cubic, which are x1, x2, and x3. Okay, now what am I going to do next? Solve this equation. This is quadratic. Easy, right? Easy. So we're going to use the quadratic formula. The quadratic formula says negative b in this case. Well, actually, shouldn't I just multiply both sides by something to make it, to get rid of all the fractions? Let's do that. Let's multiply everything by 2b, and I can say that 2b or not 2b. Okay, I meant that joke. It's a different one. So let's multiply both sides by 2b, and it's going to give me 2b u squared plus, so when I multiply 2b, 2 is going to cancel out, so that's going to give me b squared u, and the b is going to cancel out, I'm going to get 4d from here. Okay, so this is a quadratic in u, and we can solve it using the quadratic formula. Let's go ahead and do that. And when we do, we're going to be getting the values of x2 and x3 from here. So u is going to equal negative b, which is negative b squared, plus minus the square root of b squared, which is b to the fourth power, minus 4ac, 4 times 2b, or not 2b, times c, which is 4d. Okay, divided by 2 times a, which is 4b. Okay, let's go ahead and simplify this and then we're going to write them separately. So we get negative b squared plus minus, this gives me b to the fourth power, 4 times 2 times 4 is equal to 32, bd, and then all over 4b. So u represents x2 and x3, so I can just write them separately. And it doesn't matter which one is which because they could, you know, kind of switch around. So let's just say x2 is the positive one, negative b squared plus the square root of b4, b to the fourth minus 32 bd all over 4b. And then x3 is going to be the other one with the minus sign, negative b squared minus the square root of b to the fourth minus 32 bd over 4b. And then remember, we had found x1 earlier and it was negative b over 2. And this pretty much gives us all the solutions. And this brings us to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.